So today we will be making a pork red chili tamale and a cheese and jalapeno tamale. So today I'm going to use a pork shoulder for my tamales. I just find that pork tamales taste better, but you can use shredded beef, shredded chicken, whatever you would like. Now I'm going to boil this meat down until it's nice and tender and we're going to shred it up. But we want to make sure that we season our stock very, very well because we're going to use the stock from this meat to mix in our masa. So I'm adding some onions, some garlic and some water and then I'm going to add in my seasonings. Like I said, you want to season this very, very well. Now as for my seasonings, I'm going to add some salt, some garlic powder, onion powder, cumin. You want to add a lot of cumin because that's what gives it um, that authentic taste. Um, some paprika, some lemon pepper, some regular pepper, um, some oregano. You just want to season this really, really well. Now after you get all your seasonings in there, you want to pop a lid on it and you want to let this cook down until it is nice and tender and just fall apart juicy yumminess. Just like that. Yes. So now all we're going to do is we're going to remove the meat and sit it in a bowl and you're going to strain the stock because we're going to use the stock to make our masa. It just adds more flavor so you're really going to want to do that instead of using just plain old water. So to make the red chili sauce, you're going to need some dried chili pods. You can find these at any Hispanic grocery store and even at like Safeway and stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove the stem from it and we're going to steep these down until they're nice and soft and then we're going to blend them into a sauce. So all you're going to do is just remove the top. If you want more heat, go ahead and leave all the seeds. If you don't, remove the seeds. So now all you're going to do, you're going to rinse off your chili pods and then we're going to fill them up, fill the pot up with water and you're going to bring it to a boil and then you're going to cut it off and just let them steep. You want to let them steep until they're nice and soft. Now right before I put the lid on to let them steep, I added some onions and garlic just to soften them up a bit because I'm putting them in my sauce as you can see right here. So I'm throwing that onion and garlic into there and now I'm going to add my chili pods. That's what you're going to use to thin out your sauce. So go ahead and add your chili pods and then add a little bit of juice at a time just to thin out your sauce some until you get a nice, smooth, pretty sauce. And now you're going to strain your sauce to remove any of the seeds or, you know, anything that did not get blended up in the blender. So now we have a nice smooth red sauce. So go ahead and taste it and season it. I'm adding a little bit of salt garlic powder, onion powder, garlic, salt, cumin, don't forget your cumin, and you know, just season it with whatever you like, but don't forget the cumin because that's what gives it its flavor. Now here is my shredded pork. Now all you're going to do is pour your sauce into your pork. You want to put a lot of sauce because you want it to be nice and juicy. Now to make the masa, I use some masa flour, salt, manteca, which is lard, and baking powder. But you also can find this already made, already prepared. 
So I'm adding my masa and my lard and instead of water I'm using the stock from the pork roast which has a lot of flavor so it's going to season your masa up really well. Now you want to mix up your masa very very well. You want to actually use your hands to do it. You want to make sure there's no lumps. If it's a little bit too dry go ahead and add a little bit more of your stock. Taste it and see if you need to add some more seasonings to it but you just want to get it till it's nice and, and seasoned and smooth. You will also need some soaked, cleaned corn husk. Now to prep the husk, you're just going to simply clean them and you're going to let them soak in some hot water until they become nice and soft and pliable. All I did is I filled up my sink with some hot water and I separated all the husk and put them into the hot water. I removed all the dirty ones and the bugs and the mildew looking ones, all that. Yeah, just throw those away. And then I took some hot boiling water and poured all on top of it until they soaked and they got nice and soft. And then you're going to sit them out and let them dry for a while. So you're going to take your tamale husk and you're going to find that one side is rougher than the other. So you want to take the smoothest side of your tamale husk and that is the side you're going to spread your masa on. So you're going to take your tamale husk. You're going to take a large spoon and put some masa on the back of the spoon. You're just going to spread it onto the inside of the husk. You want to even layer and you want to make sure masa is covering about three-fourths of the husk. And then I'm going to take some of my filling and put it right down the middle, just like that. And then we are going to take one end and fold it over, like that. And then take the other end and fold it over like that. Like that. And then you're going to fold it back like that and there you have your tamale and for the other tamale I will be using pepper jack cheese and jalapenos so it will be a cheese and jalapeno tamale I'm going to take a stick of the cheese a stick of jalapeno and then just wrap it up just wrap it up just like that so here is my tamale pot. It's a huge 32 quart tamale pot. And I got this from uh, I got this from Ross and it was $25. Big lid. Here is the steamer part of it. Now here I'm simply standing the tamales up in the pot just like that. And you're going to keep doing this until your pot is full if you've made that many tamales. And when you're done, your tamales will look something like this in the pot. I only put these in the pot for video purposes. These are actually my Christmas tamales. So I'm going to put these in plastic baggies and freeze them. But I am going to cook about a dozen or so right now just so I can show you the finished product. And we will probably be eating them for dinner tonight. I just tied a little belt to keep them closed. So if this whole pot was full of tamales like it was earlier, you would just take some damp corn husks and put them on top of it and it just helps trap in the steam. And then we just pop the lid on and these are going to take a while to steam cook, a few hours. 